whenever we are talking about quality education so one question comes in mind how we are going to determine which educational institute or university is providing quality education so answer is that iqac means if any organization or university have functional iqac system means they are providing quality education as well as they are thinking to provide quality education to make a better system for a student so in this video today we are going to discuss a lot of about iqac what are the functions and benefits of iqac so the major goal of the nac is to improve the quality of education so to help higher educational institute pursue the three step action plan providing quality education student performance evaluation achieving the nac accreditation because nowadays this is mandatory to all higher educational institute and university to get nac accreditation because this is very much necessary because this reflects that yes, this university or higher institute is providing quality education also the nac committee has proposed the concept of forming an internal quality assurance cell means iqac because this is a committee which is going to overlook ki their organization or institute is providing quality education or not what are the performance of a student how they are going to determine the evaluation concept of a student performance and after the, that they are going to get nac accreditation if they are not getting nac certificate or uh, ranking means they are very far behind in the market so this is now it is necessary also some day ago EJC mentioned that ki by 2020 every higher ins, uh, institution and university have to get nac certificate many university are planning to get or in coming future many university is also going to uh, take so before that if you are applying for nac at least you must have iqac if you have a functioning iqac system means this is very easy to get you nac certificate now what is iqac so as the name reflect iqac means internal quality assurance cell is a structure that would help educational institute to improve their work processes and achieve learning outcome and objective so iqac is just not a committee this is a function this is a whole thing which is going to plan about your outcome your strategy how by which strategy we can improve our educational quality you can improve our system so it is a participative and facilitative unit that would closely work with the faculty member student management and administration to plan out the best possible strategy to grow the institute to provide quality education to provide a good system so now when we discuss what are vision of iqac so whenever we are talking about vision iqac primarily focuses on the quality enhancement basically the main aim of iqac is to enhance the quality of particular institute and that quality consists in infrastructure providing quality education hiring good faculty and their academic research how uh, the innovation uh, innovation take process how they are using information communication technology so all this combinedly a vision of iqac so it's aim to introduce a consistent plan for action that would lead the organization towards progress it was preparing strategy for efficient and timely work processes 
academic research and program, affordable and innovative approaches, use of uh, information communication technology for uh, modernization of education, best assessment process for maintaining quality, ensuring the best infrastructure to achieve goal. So these uh, are some points which are basically vision of IQAC. Timely work processes, how many paper your research paper or patent you are getting per year and how your uh, approach uh, towards innovation, how you are using information communication technology for modernization of education. So these are very basic things which should have every university or higher education. So thus IQAC consider all the possible aspects that hold the power to bring positive impact of teaching learning on the student as well as institution. Now uh, function of IQAC, so let's now understand the various functions that are expected from the IQAC cell. Setting quality benchmark with consistent work, creating parameter to reach academic as well as non-academic uh, academic learning goals. Creating a student-centric teaching learning environment, enabling faculty to efficiently use education technology tools for innovation in education, considering the feedback of students, faculty, and parents from the best practices. Because you know, many uh, many university uh, introduce concept of a mentorship program. Basically, uh, that mentorship program is very uh, good criteria to getting feedback of the student, getting feedback of faculty and what their parents suggesting to improve the quality. Now organizing various workshops and seminar for the quality education environment because whenever you are going to organize a workshop or seminar, every seminar provides some information about a particular topic or particular field. So this is uh, very much necessary when you are stabilizing IQAC, there should be some various workshops and, uh, and seminar for uh, improvement of uh, student performance, uh, their quality and also in case of providing quality education. And one of the most important things, documentation. Whatever you are organizing, uh, whether that is seminar, whether that is workshop or any test, a proper documentation should be there. Because this is going to tell us, yes, this type of function, this type of workshop, this type of seminar, you organize time to time. If you have no any document, uh, document of that particular thing, so this is very tough for you to tell you have organized all this thing. So we must focus on the documentation process also whenever uh, you are thinking about IQAC and preparing 100% accurate MIS report uh, that is management information system. So when uh, you are uh, developing a system, so definitely a particular report is also generated. So uh, I am taking example of uh, examination. So every semester when you declare the result, there should be a proper report. Means how many students appeared, how many students passed, how many students scored more than 60%. So there are many criteria to preparing the report and this report is going to play very vital role when you are, uh, you are apply for uh, NAC, you are apply for UGC uh, or you are apply for any accreditation. So these are very important things. So when uh, just let me remind you function of IQC. First is setting quality benchmark. Second is creating parameter to reach academic and non-academic goal creating a student-centric teaching learning environment, uh, enabling uh, education technology tools for innovation in education, considering the feedback of a student, organizing various workshops and seminar, and documenting, uh, documenting all the activities, preparing 100% accurate MIS report, okay, and preparing and submitting one of the most important annual quality incidence report as per the instruction of the NAC because this annual quality insurance report is going to tell which type of activity you conducted 
to for uh, improving the quality of education or quality of the system now uh, when uh, we discuss about of national feature of iqsc so by this uh, diagram uh, you can uh, easily understand ki what is operational feature of iqsc so first one is work plan to achieve desired quality standard firstly for anything whatever you are going to do firstly plan is required if you have a better plan definitely you can work on that plan in a better way if you have not plan so this is very tough to get you desired output now uh, talking about second point that is commitment to improvement yes if you are committed to improvement definitely you can get your goal if you are not committed so i think this is very hard and tough to achieve your goal third is balance growth of the institution yes this is required because every year you have to improve your quality so that represent balance growth of the institution fourth is efficient and effective work done yes uh this is most important factor <coughs> because efficient and effective work should be done so that is going to reflect in every scenario ki yes your university or organization is doing very good work now stabilize procedure and modalities for data management because this is much required because data management tells yes you are working in a good manner or not because every data you have to acquire you have to keep for nag visit quality initiative means what initiative you have taken to improve your quality and seventh is report and data submission to statutory body whatever statutory body and academic council your organization or your university reflects so report and data submission should be because there are uh, nowadays there are many you know organization such like uh, nad Uh, where you have to submit your mark sheet and degree certificate second is nrif for that ranking you also you have to submit your data then aish so there are many organization statutory body where you have to submit your data and that is only possible when you are working in a standard way and now last point is transparency and website readiness means if you have everything fine definitely you can publish your data at the website and and you can ss so uh, just open many university website you can see there is a many option for aisc nrif means by clicking on that particular file you can see the data of particular that university now uh, what is composition of iqsc so to ensure the above mentioned function are performed accurately iqsc works by following the given hierarchy head of the educational institution that should be chair person a uh, representative from the faculty member management authority senior administrative staff member nominee from the student local society alumni and nominee for employee stakeholder industry senior teacher representing as the coordinator or the director of the iqc so basically uh, these are the composition some members can be increased some members can be decreased this is only example ki yes this type of members should be in that iqsc composition now uh, role of iqsc coordinator so basically iqsc coordinator would be the captain of the ship because coordinator is going to decide which manner and which uh, scenario we have to work so there are multiple region he she should have years of experience will be a full time working in the institution uh, would have a responsible approach towards the work processes and most important uh, importantly she or he would work on the goal of achieving nac accreditation so basically the main responsible position is iqsc coordinator if that person is uh, responsible or uh, responsibility taken definitely that person is going to a uh, improve or quality education or also going to work uh, to get nac accreditation so this is uh, very much important uh, the captain of the ship should be very much a responsible person so 
uh, in a summary we can say the role of iqac coordinator is the most important of all committee members now what is key duties of iqac so uh, here are the key duties of iqac that helps institution to improve their processes effective leadership practice uh, decentralization and participate management perspective strategic plan organizational structure administrative setup effectiveness of various bodies financial support professional development co curricular and extra curricular activities academic as, uh, administrative audit participant is various accreditation and ranking so now uh, what are uh, benefit of iqac so this is my last slide where i am going to discuss uh, top 10 benefit of iqac so iqac ensure clarity of the work processes and enable the stakeholder to rethink the current work process if your current work process is going good that is okay otherwise we can rethink and can implement and can improve according to iqac the continuous assessment pattern make it possible to create a internationalization of quality education culture in higher education institute iqac ensure a better collaboration between various department of the higher education institute and uh, eradicate the communication gap the frequent evaluation and feedback from the stakeholder with a greater level of transparency and assessment institution are able to make better decision and improve their overall functioning iqac allow the faculty to properly create authentic documentation and keep their record for future reference in the nac assessment process iqac encourages high educational institute to pay attention to research and development and make the faculty future ready by empowering them iqac paper team verifies all the document evidence and facts and resolve the challenges faced by higher educational institute A student are taught the value of practical knowledge by involving project based learning as well as service based learning to help children go academically as well as develop school the iqac team encourages conducting various program and lecture of the professional expert unlike the traditional teaching learning culture iqac tries to provide a globalized platform to student by inculcating the think locally act globally mindset so this is all about um, iqac so iqac is just internal quality and student self that is going to determine ki yes your institute is providing quality education or not and this is also going to measure and vision of that uh, iqac is efficient and timely work process academic research inverting approaches use of uh, internet and information consumption technology and infrastructure and these are some function means uh, setting quality benchmark creating parameter to reach academic and non academic goal creating a student centric teaching environment you know enabling uh, faculty to use educational technology and also considering the feedback from the student organizing various workshops and seminar and uh, preparing document for all the things and we have already discussed this feature and composition of this head of education institute means that is chairperson then a representative from the faculty member management authority senior administrator staff and from the student from employee and role of iqac coordinator we have already discussed the most all important because he as he is going to determine how the uh, system is going to work and this is basically q duties of iqac and and these are some benefit of iqac so thank you for watching this thank you